Hey everyone, it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. Welcome to Lesson 18 in our Silhouette Boot Camp series. Um, if you are on YouTube, hop on over to the blog, www.thepinningmama.com. Last week we learned all about the offset feature, and this week we are going to focus on the trace feature. Um, trace is making images or files not found in Silhouette cuttable images so that Silhouette recognizes them as cut lines. So you can cut your image and use it. The trace feature is found on the right hand side of the screen over here. It's the butterfly with the trace line around it. Um, so let's get started. My little girl wanted, she requested a Descendants birthday party, a Disney Descendants birthday party, and she wanted everybody to have, um, she thought it would be fun for everyone to have uh, their own spell book. And on the front of the spell book in the Descendants is this dragon. So what I did is I found this image online and I copied the image and made it into a file and then I just opened the file and pulled it down here for you. Okay, so the trace feature is going to become your best friend and you're going to love it. I love the trace feature. All right, so what we're going to do is go over here and we're going to go to open the trace panel. And I want to select the trace area. So you're going to click this button and you're going to go over here and you're going to select the area you want traced. Like so. Um, you're going to see some words over here and let me explain it over here. The high pass filter finds the details of your image and works from the outside of your image in. This is really useful for detailed images or fine art. If your kids drew a picture or anything like that, you'd want to use your put your high pass filter on. Now what I'm going to do is use this threshold right here. You see all this grainy area? Those are all the little things that Silhouette would cut. So it's going to cut all of this gray area in here, all, and then all these little images. So what I'm going to do is because this is a really low resolution picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the threshold until I get rid of all those little specks or grainy area and make it really crisp. So when I go to cut it, it looks really crisp. So I up the threshold. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're ready to trace. There are three different kinds of trace options. There's trace, which works which cuts the outer and inner lines. Trace just the outer edge. We do not want that, we want the inner lines too. And then trace and detach. We'll cut the image from the background. Um, it's great if you don't want your images to overlap or if you have a white background you're trying to get your image out of. Um, that's what that works for. Okay, so we're just gonna simply trace. Okay. So I'm going to pull the image that I downloaded away and you'll find that you have your your dragon. But I want to I want to get rid of um the square. So I'm going to release the compound path. Oops. Pull the square out and then I'm going to group it back together. We can color it so you can see it better. And now that it's grouped together, you can make it bigger or smaller. And you'll see you have that image that Silhouette's now going to cut. If I were to go over here to send, you can see what it's going to look like cut. So you have all of these cut lines and that's exactly what I want. Um, some Im images you have to play around a little bit with the high pass filter, the threshold. Um, but pretty much you can find any image, whether it's a picture you took or a file or your children drew a picture and you can pretty make cut lines with it and have it on your silhouette. I love the trace feature. I use it all the time. I use it mostly a lot of times for birthday parties or anything like that because they tend to not have everything in the silhouette store. Um, so that is all I have for you about the trace feature. Just kind of a quick overview. Um, tune in next week to learn all about fill and gradient in Silhouette Studio. Thanks, guys.